Hi everyone. Welcome back to Signature's Life. It's me John here. Those who are watching this channel for the first time, please subscribe and press the bell icon for more updates. The Black Eye Galaxy, also called Evil Eye Galaxy, and designated Messiah 64, M64 or NGC 4826. It is a relatively isolated spiral galaxy located 17 million light years away in the northern constellation of Coma Bernices. It was discovered by Edward Pigott in March 1779 and independently by Joan Ellard Board in April of the same year as well as by Charles Messier in 1780. A dark band of absorbing dust in front of the galaxy's bright nucleus gave rise to its nicknames of the Black Eye or Evil Eye Galaxy. M64 is well known among amateur astronomers because of its appearance in small telescopes. This galaxy is inclined 60 degree to the line of sight and has a position angle of 112 degree. Residing about 19 million light years from our home galaxy, the Sleeping Beauty extends across space covering an area nearly 40,000 light years across, spinning around at a speed of 300 km per second. It is well known because it has a prominent dark band below its nucleus. That gives M64 a couple of nicknames, the Black Eye or the Evil Eye Galaxy. The dark spot consists of dust grains which block the light of the stars that are behind them. The Black Eye Galaxy is home to about 100 billion stars. It is receding from us at a 408 km per second. No supernova has been detected in it so far. M64 does not contain any non cepheid variables, which is very unusual for a galaxy this close to us and means that its distance is merely estimated at 24 million light years, but far from certain. Messier 64 has two counter-rotating disks roughly equal in mass, possibly as a result of the merger with a small satellite galaxy in a retrograde orbit or of ongoing accretion. The dark dust lane that blocks the light of the galaxy's central region may in fact be material from the smaller galaxy that hasn't settled into the largest galaxy's orbital plane yet. The inner disk of M64, roughly 3000 light years in radius, wraps along the outer disk, which spans about 40,000 light years and rotates in the opposite direction at about 300 km per second. The rubbing of the two counter rotating disks results in an intense burst of star forming activity in the region where the disk gases collide and are compressed, while the interstellar gas in the galaxy's outer regions rotates in the opposite direction from the gas and the stars in the inner disk. All the stars in M64 are rotating in the same direction. Black Eye Galaxy may be considered a prototype for a class of galaxies known as Evolved Second Wave Activity Galaxies. These are the galaxies that are experiencing a second wave of star formation. Their main spiral pattern contains stars of an intermediate age. Star forming activity first evolved outside and continued for as long as there was enough interstellar material in the region. Then it gradually ceased and did not start again until new material started accumulating and flowing back from the evolved stars by stellar wind, supernova explosions and planetary nebula. Once there was enough new material, the formation of new stars started again. In M64, the second wave of star forming activity seems to have reached the area where the dark dust lane appears. The Black Eye Galaxy is also known as Radio Source. Thanks for watching. Kindly subscribe.